a straight line makes an angle of tangent inverse of 3 with the x-axis and cuts off an intercept of 4 units with the x-axis in the negative direction. Determine the equation of the line. Now let's begin. So here we have our coordinate axis. Let's, let's start with the line. The line is making an angle, the inverse tangent of 3 with the x-axis, and it is cutting off an intercept of 4 units with the x-axis in the negative direction. That means to the left of the origin O, the x-axis is going in the negative direction. So our line is going to cross the x-axis uh, at a particular point A such that the distance OA, so that's going to be equals to 4 units or simply negative 4. Such that we can define the coordinates of point A as negative 4, comma 0. Now the line is going to pass through the point A and is making an angle tangent inverse of 3. Now here, theta equals to tangent inverse of 3. Now tangent inverse of 3 means this is an acute angle. This will become evident in the moment how I got to know in advance that it's an acute angle. Um, because if we want to find out the slope of that particular line, we take the tangent of mm, tangent of that angle theta. So taking the tangent on both sides, we get tangent of tangent inverse of 3. Now tangent of tangent inverse of 3, that simply equals to 3. This is a positive value. So whenever our slope has a positive value, so tangent theta, which is denoted by m, then we consider the angle to be acute. So that means the line is going to be an acute angle. And the line, the angle that the line makes with the x-axis is going to be an acute angle, which means that our line is going to look something like this. So this is the angle theta that it makes with the positive direction of x-axis, and it's given by tangent inverse of 3. Okay, now we have here is the x-intercept, but what we need is actually the y-intercept. So let's call this particular point as b with the coordinate 0, comma c. So we first find out the coordinate of point b for this we will be using the slope to calculate the value of c so let's calculate the slope so the slope of the line that will be equals to now that the slope is 3 but we are going to use the definition so here what we'll do we need y2 minus y1 and divided by x2 minus x1 so here let's say a corresponds to x1 comma y1 and b corresponds to x2 comma y2 such that we now have uh, y2 minus y1 so that will be 0 uh, y2 value is c we have c minus 0 divided by x2 minus x1 so that's going to be 0 minus negative 4 or simply put we have c over 4 now we have already defined the slope the slope of the line which is 3 so 3 is going to be equals to c over 4 such that we have c equals to 12 so we now have the y intercept value so this value is actually c the height or height of the point b from the origin so that's 12 units so now we have the y intercept we have the slope of the line we can use the slope intercept form of the line which is given by y equals to mx plus c so m is the slope with a value of uh, positive 3 and c that is going to be the y intercept so the y intercept value which is 12 now let's replace the m value with 3x with 3 such that we get 3x and the c value with 12 and this is going to be the required equation of the line.